Hello guys, I'm so happy that I want to share with you this song. Well, we made it. This is our last unit and I'm going to explain what the unit is about. So, um, I want to say it was nice being with you this semester, not personally, uh, through video conferences and video classes, but I think we made it. And I want to, I am really happy for you guys. Uh, okay, I'm going to start the presentation. So it is unit number 12, trial and error. Remember, every unit has different five different parts or is divided in five different parts. Well, I'm not going to go into the units because they are mostly readings and listenings that you can do it by yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain some of the grammar that it might be a little difficult for some of you. So in this case, okay, this is the first part and these are the objectives for this part A. Then we have part B and better questions, aims and objectives. We have part C the A consumer vocabulary and we have this part D communication strategies dealing with complaints and the last part is E interactions online entrepreneurs aims and objectives now I'm gonna start with the part that I am interested in in showing to you and try to do my best to uh, explain what happened with these two grammar. Believe me, I have worked really hard to do these things that I'm doing right now. Now, the third one is reported speech. Do you know what a reported speech is? Well, here is the definition is when we tell, report to someone what another person said. To do, do, to do this, we can use direct speech or indirect speech. What that means? Now, I'm going to use an example. This is what Andrew is telling me now. Andrew, Andrew say, I'm a happy person. I have a good job. I graduated with honors. Now, when I use direct speech is when we report exactly what he says using quotations. This is what I report. Andrew said, I'm a happy person. I have a good job. I graduated with honors. And we also have indirect speech. When the action is done recently, we usually use the same tense to report. For example, Andrew says that he is a happy person, has a good job, and that he graduated with honors. So that's what I'm telling to another person. Now, there is indirect speech, but not so recently. We have to change the tenses like this. Andrew said that he was a happy person, that he had a good job, and that he had graduated with honors. As you can see in the yellow color is the verse that I'm changing from simple to past. And from past to past perfect, when I say I graduated, I, that he had graduated. 
Now, let's see more examples. This time I'm going to use Mari. So, we are going to use indirect speech not so recently as if it was three days after her original speech. So, this is how it works. So, Mari says, I'm a lucky woman. Simple present. Bird B. So when I report this three days later, I would say, Mari said that she was a lucky woman. That is optional. I can say, Mari said that she was a lucky woman, or I can say, Mari said she was a lucky woman. And now, you can see the tenses in this side, and you can see the tenses in this other in the right side. So I'm not going to mention the tenses. You will watch it. You just pay attention to what Mary says and how that is reported. Now, Mary said, my job pays me to travel. Mary said her job pay her to travel. I can also have a bonus for miles traveled. She says she could also have a bonus for miles traveled. I will be promoted soon. Mary said she would be promoted soon. I was nominated as the best employee of the year last year. She says she has been nominated as the best employee of the year last year. Now, I earned 70000 last year. Mary says she had earned 70000 last year. I missed the 70000 Okay. I have met a lot of people worldwide. Mary say she had met a lot of people worldwide. I have never had so much fun while working. She had never had so much fun while working. Good. So now, let's continue with this. But now when Mari asks questions, we use reported questions. That's another history. The other one was reporting the speech. In this time, Mari is asking me questions. For example, she says, Ruben, are you married? And if I report this to another person two days later, three days later, I say, Mari asked me, ask me if I was married. So as you can see in this first part, here we have yes, no questions. Are, do, did, can, will. We use if or do you work hard, Ruben? Mary asked me if I work hard. Did you graduate from Magdalena University? Mary asked me whether I have graduated from Magdalena University or not. Whether or if for yes, no questions. Ruben, can you type fast? Mary asked me if I could type quickly or fast. Ruben, will you go to the annual party? Mari asked me whether I would go to the annual party or not. Mari asked me, Ruben, how old are you? So I say, Mari asked me how old I was. Where do you live, Ruben? Mary asked me where I lived. When did you start at the university, Ruben? Mary asked me when I had started at the university. More information. Direct, indirect, and embedded questions. When we make indirect questions, when we make direct questions, we usually use auxiliaries. 
So in order to explain the indirect and embedded questions, I have to start with direct questions first. Now, <clears throat> can you tell me what the auxiliaries for the questions are? And number one, the auxiliary is, is, is the company well known in the market? Does the company employ local labor? Will the company's campaign for the new product be on TV? Did the company start in 2002? Those are yes, no questions. Now we go with WS question. What do the employees do on Labor Day in your company? Where, excuse me, where can I find the restrooms? How many companies does Mr. Trump have? Simple pressing. How long has the company been in business? Present perfect. Who were you with in your last holiday? Be in pass. These are yes, no, direct questions and W H direct questions. Now, make indirect questions with the same direct question. Is the company well known in the market? Indirect questions. Here we are going to use, do you know? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? So I say, do you know if, whether the company is well known in the market share? Does the company employ local labor? Can you tell me if the company employs local labor? Here, third person. S is necessary for the third person. Sometimes um, yes and half or has. What do the employees do on Labor Day in your company? Could you tell me what the employees do on Labor Day in your company? Where can I find the restrooms? Do you know where I can find the restrooms? Now with embedded questions. Embedded questions usually, well, they don't need questions mark. So in here, will the company campaigns for the new product be on TV? Question. I would like to know if the company's campaign for the new product will be on TV. No question. Did the company start in 2002? The investors want to know whether the company started in 2002. Past tense. How many companies does Mr. Trump have? Who cares how many companies Mr. Trump has? It's not my business. Now, how long has the company been in business? I am wondering how long the company has been in business. You see, the auxiliary was first. Now. The has move as a complement of the company has been in business. Who were you with you in your last holidays? It's not your business who I was with in my holiday, in my last vacation. Well, guys, I want to thank you, but I have something, some other things to show you. So here, it is all the material that I have created for you this semester. And this is the last unit I made, unit 12. And you can see this presentation there. Try and error.
see the presentation and I have answers for the exercises you have in your book and I also have some explanations on these topics you can check on the links are going to be in your presentation here we have more examples more examples more examples and I have someone talking about reported speech oh and I try to imitate this person this is what I learned That's well, well I'm trying to do the same and he's doing it but I don't think it's the same He always wears a coat. To past simple. He said that she always wore a coat. Present continuous. I'm looking for my keys. Past continuous. She said that she was looking for her keys. Present perfect. She has written three letters for her friend. Well, here the guy is uh, using like everyday. Mm, everyday events but I use for my presentations like um, things related to business and here is an explanation also about the other topic now many English learners have a difficult time when they're uh, fra uh, framing questions because you have to change the word order but embedded questions actually require you to change the order back again so they can be even more confusing unless you understand the principle. So please make sure you pay attention to this one. A lot of English students don't recognize that they're making a mistake because they've taken so much trouble to learn the regular way of asking questions that they don't realize that when you have an embedded question, you need to change that order all over again. Okay? So what is an embedded question? An embedded question is not a question that you ask somebody in bed. An embedded question is a question that is found inside another question or inside a sentence or statement. All right? So that's enough theory for now. Let's look at the actual reality. Okay. So let's take this regular question. Where is the bank? Right? You see I've written the verb is in red. And that's the regular way you'd ask the question, you take the sentence, the bank is somewhere, and say, where is the bank? However, when you add something like this before that, then the order at the end is going to change. Let me show you what I mean. Where is the bank? Or, can you tell me where the bank is? So, as you can see, there are a lot of tutorials and videos and, and uh, pages or websites where you can check more on these topics. Well, guys, if you like my video, don't forget to give me a like. Amen. I'm doing a lot of effort just to try to to be understood uh, by you guys. Thank you very much. I'm a little tired, but I'm really happy because I think this is a good product. Thank you. See you next.